Today's been mainly quiet. I saw one fish roll two rod lengths out from my swim. See nothing else, nothing wrong, nothing show. The wind is blowing into the far bank. Maybe I should have been on the front of the wind as opposed to on the back of the wind. I don't know, but yeah. Getting absolutely killed by the craze, mullered by the craze. So I've got some plastics on, but I'm not a huge fan of plastic bait. Um, so I try and through the day I'm fishing a normal boilie and I'm tipping it with something plastic so that if I do get mugged off by the craze, I can still fish the boilie. I've still fished the plastic, so. But. Yeah, slow going. Not a show, nothing to fish to. So just trying to. Just trying to make sure I'm on good spots. Reinforce that today by having a good lead around again today. Make sure I'm on good spots, spots I'm happy with because when I'm leaving those rigs out there, if I've got if I've got naturals on, then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sorry like you know like boilies or something or like pop ups, you know, I'll leave them out four to six hours and then they'll be done by the craze usually. So but if I've got plastics and I'm leaving it out 12, 16, 18 hours, and I'm not seeing signs of fish, I just want to be happy that where I'm fishing, I'm happy with the spot at least. Even if I blank, if I'm happy with the way that I've leaded it, the drops that I've got, the way that my cast went. You know, I'm, I'm relaxed. I can just think that sometimes the fish just aren't on your swim. So, yeah, I've just been trying to do that today. Focus on learning this lake. It's my second session on this lake. Um, I'll do my full winter campaign here. I've got a, a couple of dates booked on other lakes, but this is, this is my campaign lake. I'll do everything here now. So, yeah, just learn the lake, you know, like, uh, fish each swim, try something different. Every time I come, I try and get on the fish, but if I can't get on the fish, or you know, just try and fish the best practices that I can, really. Okay, so I'm gonna show you quickly how I tie my Ronnie, okay? Ronnie's are obviously super simple. Really easy to tie, one of the easiest rigs. Very versatile. Um, I like to use my Ronnie with a stiff, rig and uh, it can be stiff braid and stuff but yeah I like to tie it a certain way because I don't like crimps I know they're stronger there's no good message in saying like oh crimps are stronger they're much I get it they are yeah I just don't like crimps on my rig I don't like I don't like metal on my rig really I don't like metal 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 connections I just don't I'm, I don't know why maybe because I'm old-fashioned and I've never used them I never used to use them I've got quarter crimps and stuff I just don't use them I don't like it and I've landed big fish on this rig that I'm gonna show you so it's just a Ronnie we're not like reinventing the wheel or anything I just tie it a bit differently so I like to use um, a stiff material and the, one of the two that I use I use a, a think link or a recoil um, I, I just really like these you can use a boom or whatever whatever it is that you want to use okay so I'm gonna take like eight to ten inches let's say eight to ten inches um, just because I want my Ronnie to finish up with the rig material to be about five, six inches, okay? So I take my, my stiff material. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Ronnie swivel and I thread a Ronnie swivel on and then I loop the end over. So I've now got that Ronnie is on a loop and it's about two inches long. So, so the Ronnie's on a loop there about two inches long so then what I do is I get the Ronnie and I tie that with an overhand loop so the loop this through becomes an overhand loop and I thread the Ronnie uh, swivel back through the loop so I thread the Ronnie swivel back through like so so the Ronnie is within the overhand loop now and I make sure it comes up nice and tight so the loop isn't massive but if you look my Ronnie swivel is within the loop so I've tied an overhand loop and the Ronnie swivel is just sat on that loop okay 
pull that all nice and tight. Cut off my tag end. Like so. <clears throat> and then, what I'm going to do is, I get my hook, and previously when I set up, I just slide my rig, my um, heat shrink just onto my hook, just to sit it on there, you know, it's just, it's not shrunk or anything, it's just sat on there for, for safekeeping. And then I thread obviously my Ronnie swivel onto my hook, like so, heat tubing goes down over, and sits about where it's going to end. There. Slide a swivel on, like so, and then grab a little uh, hook bead and slide the hook bead on to stop the uh, swivel. This is where you know it, it's a, a Ronnie's a Ronnie a Ronnie. You know this is nothing different. The only thing that I've done different is the loops, and it's only my loops that are different. I slide this on. We're now just. Um, yeah, we now just, we just put together a bog standard Ronnie rig, but there we go. It's just a bog standard Ronnie rig, okay. And uh, on the other end, I take a normal swivel and I attach a normal swivel. And sometimes this end, I'll use a perfection loop, um, or I'll just do exactly the same, just an overhand loop with the swivel going back through the loop, like so. On, and that goes on there. Lovely jump. So pull them both ends really tight. It's nice and tight. Cut that off. Boom. And then for neatness and to finish that off, a tiny bit of tungsten tubing. Or I'm fishing a water at the moment is riddled with crayfish, so I do put um, a shot on as well. Um, and I have started to like that. Just putting a shot on the um on here but i put just a bit of tube uh tungsten putty just around this knot of the loop depending on what i'm going to be using like so and that there is my ronnie rig so it sits within the loop that i tied it through the bog standard loop the ronnie sits there I'll shrink all that down, make it all nice and tight, and then of course you can see it's just got so much freedom to move. When I get a take, the rig has got 360 degree movement through the swivel and through that little loop. I prefer this than um, than tying on with a with a normal knot. Um, and because I don't use a crimp, I need that loop, and that's how I get it. And then now I have obviously a, a tied Ronnie with loops both end. And that is how I tie my Ronnie rig.
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Go. 22 pang. Twenty two pang. Beautiful, beautiful mirror, dark, lovely. Over the moon with that one, eh? Absolutely over the moon with that. Great fight, really fought cool. well. Uh, lovely. <laughs> Lovely. So that fish last night, it was a weird take. No screaming run. The alarms didn't scream off. It was just like sat there just, just looking at the water for a bit down low and uh, yeah it just looked up just by chance looked up and the rod just bent round solid bobbin hadn't moved just locked in solid so it obviously just picked me up and kited straight into the weed I mean it was only bent right it probably moved four or five inches but it was solid so it obviously picked me up done me in the weed without even a beep so I uh, Picked up, lifted into it, and felt weeded. Felt weeded, weeded straight away. So started playing it, and then uh, yeah, it came free. And then yeah, great, lovely fight, beautiful fight, really nice, really energetic. Kited me all the way back to the right, then came back to the middle of the swim. Yeah, lovely. And then a beautiful mirror that like pictures in the video don't do it justice. It was uh, really dark in the flesh, it was really dark across the back with some nice big scales. Beautiful, beautiful mirror over the moon and over the moon with that. So I'm just on the last morning now, nothing through the night, a few beeps on the uh, middle rollout. I've put the sensitivity up to max now on the uh, on the alarms in case of that again. But yeah, quite a night, a few beeps, nothing came of it. And then, uh, yeah, so nothing this morning but I'm all prepped up and I've got up I've only got a couple of hours left I just got up in the morning everything in everything was done by the craze even some of the plastics have been done so redone everything I've got all pop-ups and uh, wafters on now nothing plastic because I'm only going to fish for the next two and a half hours or so so 
that one light. Yeah. We'll see, I guess.